Hey everyone, so this message is for someone very specific. This is for someone whose person cheated on them at a club or a bar or some kind of social event. I'm going to get into it. So I started doing this reading and it ended up that your, your spirit guides, you have a lot of angels around you for whoever this is for. This is just for like maybe one, two, three people. This is a very small energy group, so please don't take it if it doesn't resonate. I will be doing more readings, you know, throughout the next few days. Um... But, but the energy that I got was that somebody here almost has survivor's guilt. So that's the reading that I just put up. So check back for this, for that reading, if this is resonating with you. Someone's going through a psychic awakening. Somebody has some kind of survivor's guilt. It's like you did a lot to survive maybe in your childhood. I feel like you just came out of an abusive or toxic relationship with someone that was narcissistic. And so it's like some part of you feels like you just don't, just to recap really quick for the last reading that I just did, it's like you feel like you don't deserve good things or like you don't deserve to be good a good person. It's almost like you feel like you're tricking people by being a good person. It's like you feel like, like you don't believe that you're a good person. It's, it's just like you, like you feel like it's like a lie, like you're just faking it and somebody's going to see through you, almost like imposter syndrome or something like that. And your angels, your spirit guides want you to know that you are a good person. It's like you've built an identity based on trauma and you were gaslit so much by this toxic ex that it's almost like you're having a hard time figuring out who you are now and you're coming into all these psychic abilities, but you just feel like, like you're connecting with who you were in a past life, like the powers you had in a past life. And it, it's almost like you feel like you don't deserve it. Like you're not used to it. You're like, is this really for me? Is this too good to be true? Is this real? Like, it, it's like you're coming into yourself, like, and you're getting in touch with your soul, with who you really are on a deeper level. And it's almost like you feel like, like you don't deserve to be that person. It's like some part of you, it's like you're used to being a people please, or you're used to putting everyone else first. You're used to, you know, having to put your needs aside. And so it's almost like you feel selfish for finally putting yourself first and stepping into your power. Um, and your spirit guides want you to stop feeling selfish. They want you to stop being so humble. You know, it's it's your time now. This is your power. These are your spiritual gifts. The door is open. All you got to do is walk through it. You know, like you, you are a good person. You deserve to be a good person. Like I said, this is someone that has survivor's guilt. Like you might have a really dark past. And so you feel like, like someone made you feel like you can never change because you have a dark past because you did certain things like could be like prostitution, drug dealing, any number of things. Um, maybe even like what you went through as a child being abused. It's almost like you built an identity based on that. You figured that was just who you are. It's like something that just eats away at you. You know, someone made you feel like you can't be anything more than that. Like, you know, you did this, you know, you were a prostitute, you know, 15 years ago. So that's who you're always going to be. And your spirit guides are telling you that's not the case. It's not true. Everybody has a past. Some past are darker than others. But you know what? The person you are today and the person you're becoming is what matters. The choices that you make today. You know, you you can change. You can be the person that you want to be. And your spirit guides want you to know that you're already forgiven. Like, they love you unconditionally. They forgive you. Like, I think that you just did things that you had to do to survive. Like... They don't want you to keep basing your identity on the past, on your secrets, on your trauma, you know, and it doesn't mean like, don't get me wrong, like that is a part of who you are, but they just want you to do some soul searching and shadow work and really find yourself. So anyway, I don't want to go too much into that just because I already did a whole video on that. So if that's your story, you know, check, check, um, check my YouTube channel for that. You know, and it, it kind of explained to some of the anxiety you're having, but I wanted to get into this. So for some, and this could be male or female, please do not get caught up in on, you know, gender because, you know, you could be a female and masculine energy and you can, um, you could be a male and feminine energy. It's just, it's just energy. So, you know, even if I say it's female, if you know, it's a male, just, just, you know, take it as it resonates. But basically the energy I got is that somebody this is a continuation of that other story, I think. Um, somebody cheated on you at like a club or like a social event, like a party, maybe when they were out with their friends. And I wanted to look into that, you know, continued story here. It's like, I feel like someone projected their insecurities onto you. 
like they project like they were cheating on you so they accused you of cheating on them all the time like you might have noticed suspicious suspicious behavior um i just heard a motorcycle and it startled me <laughs> sorry i don't know what that was about but you might have noticed like suspicious behavior like they kept hiding their phone like they were you know telling you they were going out with their friends and then you know you couldn't you didn't hear from them for the neck for a day or so um just acting weird and they were accusing you of cheating when you were when you were completely loyal like they kept accusing you of cheating they kept saying that you were you know out cheating with other guys or other girls like and it was, you know, it was them projecting onto you. Some of them felt guilt for it, but some didn't. Some just wanted to gaslight you and blame you and make you feel like you were the cheater. Or, like, make you feel, um... They wanted to present themselves as loyal, is what I'm getting. So they made it seem like, like, oh, how could you, like, how could you cheat on me? I would never cheat on you. Like, they wanted to cover their tracks, basically, is what I'm getting. You know, so they projected their, they were cheating and they were getting nervous that you were close to finding out. So they projected that onto you is what I was feeling. You're probably going to get an apology from this cheater and you need to know it's not genuine. It's like they tried to trap you, but you're, but you're like moving on with someone or something else. It's like you, or, or could this, I could also say this as you know, like you know they cheated, you saw it, you saw these people together, you know? And they wanna trap you, you might get an apology from this person, but it's fake, they just wanna keep you stagnant. Or they're stagnant now, it's like their energy is being returned to them now. And I wanna pull some more cards to look deeper into this, you know, the circumstances regarding this cheating. But, um, but yeah, it's like they want to they want to apologize because they're stagnant or they want to keep you stagnant and it's a fake apology and you need to know that. So, I'm going to pull some tarot cards here on this. So, yeah, so this person from what I channeled and and you know, as you guys know that watch me, I I you know, primarily channel, so a lot of times I know what the story is before I even do the reading. Like I just get these messages, I'm like someone needs to hear this. This is, you know. But I just feel like this, I just see this person at like a club or something. Like they went out with their friends and they cheated on you. Maybe they were like gone, you know, like they were gone really late and you thought it was weird. Like they weren't answering their phone. They were acting weird. Like they said, maybe they said that they, you guys were going to hang out that day and then they didn't get back to you. Or, you know, if you guys live together, it's like they just stayed out late and like they didn't really. It's like some, there's just something fishy there. Something fishy. Tell me about this situation where this person cheated. Tell me about this cheating here. So your spirit guides basically just want you to know, like, don't ever go back to being gaslit again. Um, you know, like I was saying in the, in the other video I did, the, the first part of this story is like, you're having anxiety and you're not used to this because you feel like you don't deserve it. You have been gaslit by people in your life, especially this narcissistic, toxic, abusive ex into believing that you don't deserve good things. This person probably wanted to just drag you down and control you and, and mess your life up. So you have a lot of healing to do. You have a lot of shadow work to do, definitely. But, um, you know, this, this apology coming in is fake. They want you to know that. You know, this person would... This person isn't sorry for cheating on you. They're sorry that they got caught. They almost feel embarrassed that they got caught. Like, damn, I should have covered my tracks. But I'm not, I'm getting like a sociopath energy. Like, they don't feel an ounce of guilt for cheating. They just feel like, they, they just feel like, like, damn, how did I, how did I get caught? Like, they thought they were, they thought they were the shit. They thought they'd never get caught. They thought they'd play you and have you eaten out of their palm of the hand forever. And now you're like, nope, starting a new life somewhere else. <laughs> Eight of Cups, the Hierophant. Three of Cubs. Why am I not surprised? Third party energy here. Eight of Swords. Strength. King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. This person wanted to screw your business and money up too is what I'm getting. Or they wanted money from you. So like they might have, like I hate to say it, but they might have faked a relationship from you. 
Um, they might have faked, sorry, they might have faked a relationship with you, I meant to say, because they wanted something from you. And so it's like, they're like, because I'm not saying, I'm not sensing any guilt. Like, I'm not sensing them being like, that's why I'm, that's what I'm wondering about. Because I'm like, okay, because part of me is like, well, maybe what if this person does, you know, did just make a mistake, but I'm not. I'm not feeling like regret from this person. I'm getting that this person is like just very detached emotionally. And it might not, it's probably not just you. It's probably just they're detached from everybody. You know, this person's probably just a sociopath and a narcissist. Um, but I feel like they faked a relationship with, with you. So this could be like a situation where you were like a, almost like a sugar daddy or a sugar mommy for them. For some of you is what I'm getting. Or, like, they wanted the appearance of a relationship or they wanted, um, like, sex or they just, they didn't want to be alone. It's like th there was a benefit to them. And it, there's there's a few different stories here. So, you know, take it as it resonates. For some, it was like a sugar daddy, sugar mommy situation. And part of you knew that, but you wanted to believe this person really cared about you. For others, this was, um, like, they just wanted the appearance of a relationship or they just wanted sex. Like, they just didn't want to be alone. But, like, they they were always looking elsewhere. They always, you know what I mean? They were always looking for the next opportunity, always wondering if the grass might be greener on the other side. So this might have been, this might be someone that hustled you, honestly. This might be somebody that just used you for money. This person's a sociopath. They're a narcissist. They're not a good person. Let's pull some more cards and see what's up. Sorry, just bear with my camera. It takes a minute. Yeah, someone holding on to money tightly here. Could have been a battle regarding money as well. Nine of Cups. What else? The Hermit. Hmm. Tell me about this King of Cups. I guess we have two cards stuck together. <laughs> Three of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Hmm. What do I want to make of that? I don't know a nice way to say it, but you got played and don't feel ashamed of yourself. And I'm seeing three, three, three right now as well. Don't feel ashamed of yourself. Like this person played a lot of people before you too. This could be, this is probably someone who has a past that you don't even know about. Like this, this is a shady person. This person could be involved in some fraud, some blackmail, some, um, it's just, it's a weird energy. It's almost like. This is like the kind of person that will tell you like, oh, all my exes were so abusive and horrible. And I, you know, like, like, you know, innocent little doe eyes tries to play the victim. But the reality is this person probably used all their exes and gaslit their exes. And when their exes reached that breaking point, you know, then they turned it around and tried to make it look like they were crazy. Like, like, oh, like, I don't. You know, I don't know why he, you know, snapped on me and broke up with me. I was, you know, just an innocent little victim. And it's like, well, this person, this person is a user. They use people for money. They use people for, for success, for sex, for whatever they want. So I really feel like you got played. I really feel like a sugar daddy situation for somebody here. Like you were like their sugar daddy or sugar mommy is kind of the energy I'm getting here. So this could have been someone that, you know, you... You might have been a lot older than them, and I'm, I hate to say it, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging, you know, age differences in relationships because you love who you love, but this might have been a situation where someone was like in their 50s or 60s and you had someone that was like in their 20s going for you, and like logically you're kind of like, okay, why doesn't this person want someone their own age? Why do they want someone that's so much older? And they had you convinced, like, oh, I just, I like older men. Like, I like, you know, you're so mature. You're so different than other guys. You know what I mean? Like, they just, they played it up. It's that kind of situation where it's like, you kind of knew you're like, this doesn't, they, like, something feels off here. But they, they, you know, you wanted to believe it, so you did. And this is just for one part, for one or two people. This isn't for everybody. I mean, there's other stories here. For some, it's like, you know... You might have been around the same age, but still the same situation. For others, like I said, they just wanted the appearance of a relationship. They didn't want to be alone or maybe they wanted sex or they wanted something from you. Um, but it's like, I'm just getting that they didn't want love and that they're not capable of love. They wanted something from you, be it money, be it sex, be it appearance, whatever it might be. 
but love was not their priority. This person, like I said, they're narcissistic. They're, they're all about themselves. They had a goal. When they got with you, they had a certain goal in mind. Like you were like a project for them. You know, for some, they might have just wanted to fix you or change you or whatever. But it's like you were like you were some kind of project for them. They had a goal in mind. It's like they were trying to get like a, they were trying to like some of them were trying to I'm getting like a for some, it was like some kind of financial thing where it's like they. I'm just seeing like a timeline almost where they're like. Like they wanted you to like invest money to like buy them something big or something like that or get a large amount of money from you. Some of them might have gotten pregnant to try to keep you tied down to them because they realized that you were starting to see through them and they didn't want you to leave. Um, like you weren't feeling obligated to them anymore. So they figured, hey, if we, if I have a kid, they're going to feel obligated to the kid. Like they, they knew that you were, you, they knew you'd do the right thing. This person likes to seduce people and makes them feel powerful. For some, this person's insecure. Like this, this could be like, this is like a succubus type energy. So for some, or like an incubus, you know, male or female, just take it as it resonates. Like I always say, even if I say female, if you know it's a male, then, you know, you know, take it, you know, there's no specific gender here. But for some, it's like, see like this temptress, like cause eight of cups, I usually don't see like this, but in this context, I'm kind of seeing it that way. Cause eight of cups is about like starting a new life. Like you see her, she's kind of like, come, like, come away with me, come start a new life with me. So it's almost like this this woman's starting this new this new life with all these different men. You know, she's got all these these potential sugar daddies and she's basically just going where the money is. Or you know, male or female or or, or they're going where, you know, the sex is or where whatever it is that they want. The attention, some of them it wasn't about, about money, some of them it was just more about like they just love attention. This person's not capable of monogamy. They might have tried to get you to be polyamorous and you didn't want to do it. But and they kind of just pretended like they went along with being monogamous, but like this this person just they 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 get bored easily. They it's like they I just don't see them being a loyal person. I don't see them being the type of per I don't see them being like a um a one on one person. I see this being somebody that wants a lot of potential partners. Whatever their motives are, you know, there's different stories here, but but I just, I don't see this person being the, the loyal type. I see this person being someone that likes attention. Maybe this person is insecure about their appearance or they're getting older, so they're getting insecure about their age. I'm feeling like, I'm just feeling this person needs attention. You know, this person needs, it's like, this is like the type of person that will like compete with other people all the time because they feel insecure about themselves. And they like to be with the higher front here. They like to be in control. They like to be in the position, in position of power. So they like to have these, you know, this energy, this three of cups energy. Like they like to, and you know, I read the cards differently whenever, you know, cause I channel primarily, like I've said, but it's like, they, they like to, um, they want to feel young. They want to feel powerful. They want to feel beautiful and seductive. And they, they have another goal in mind as well. And, you know, three of cups, it's like, they like dragging these people in. They like, they, you know, they want to date multiple people. And again, but it's like, it's almost, it's not like they want to date multiple people to experience multiple people multiple people. It's almost like they want to date multiple people. I keep feeling like it's money, but I, again, there's different stories. So for some, this could be sex. Maybe this is like a man or a woman that just, they like to have sex with a lot of different people. Like they like to, um, be like a man that likes to spread his seed around. Like he thinks he's just God's gift to women. So he can't imagine being with just one woman because he wants to, you know, sleep with multiple women to, to show them how great and Betty is. Um, this could be like like someone that can't handle being alone, so they like to have multiple options. I just see this person going out. I see this person partying a lot, and um, you know, I think that it required a lot of strength to get out of Eight of Swords energy. Eight of Swords energy is like feeling trapped, and your spirit guides are saying you're not trapped. You just have to be strong, and you have to see through this. And I think you've done that. You know, you're either dealing with the King of Cups, like a water sign possibly, or you are the King of Cups. I feel like this person, like I said, also wanted to, they wanted to take money from you. They wanted you to hit rock bottom for some reason. Or they wanted, maybe some of you have like stocks and investments and they wanted to get that money somehow. 
some of them actually were looking for like passwords of yours. Like they actually looked for um, like maybe like like if you have stocks, like you have like passwords for your stocks, and they were like looking for that. Because I'm getting like I'm seeing like a room with like papers and files and like someone like sorting through papers and trying to find like a certain password. So if this is you, change your passwords like now. Don't wait another minute. Um, Cause I'm just getting in this person. Maybe this person has like resentment towards you. So that's why they didn't want you to have this new start for others. I feel like they just, they wanted the new start. They wanted to take this from you. You know, Ace of Pentacles is like, it's like a new start, especially when it comes to, you know, Pentacles are about like finances, but also like stability and like the physical world. So it's almost like someone just wanted you to hit rock bottom. They wanted to have this for themselves, or maybe they just didn't want to see you have it. Like they felt like you didn't deserve it. Um, like someone wanted, someone wanted to take your money. Someone wanted to, someone wanted to take something from you. I don't know. Some, ugh. The star here though, you're being smarter. You're being more private now with the hermit. You're being more logical now. You're rebuilding, you're restarting, and you're holding on to your finances now. You're not being so giving. You're, you're being more mindful, more careful. You're being more introverted you're not being as trusting and naive as you used to be. You're being a lot smarter, a lot more logical now. You're really shining this light and like looking at, you know, people like this. You're looking at this, you know, you're shining this light and like looking down and and making judgment calls instead of just diving headfirst into things. You know, you're not diving headfirst into bad business deals, into, you know, oh, baby, give me your, your login password. It's safe. Like you're like, nah, I'm not going to be stupid like that again. Like you're smarter now. You're in hermit energy. You're kind of isolating yourself a little bit and looking at this and you're, you're planting seeds and rebuilding this now. You know, even if something was taken from you, even if you lost something, even if this person did get some money from you, you're, you're rebuilding and you're going to be good and you're going to have way more money coming in. And this time you're going to hold on to it and you're going to be more careful with it. And you're not going to give this money up so easily. You're going to protect your passwords, protect your home, protect your safe, protect your safe, protect, protect your space protect yourself. You're, you're just, you you know, you're protecting yourself. You're being more logical hermit energy here. Yeah. You're rebuilding. This person wants to try to be dishonest and, and come back in trying to get you to rebuild with them. Like, Oh, I'm sorry. I needed that money for, you know, just like a sob story, but you're smarter than that. You're smarter than that. You know, better now. You know better now. And check back on my page for the, the reading that's being posted at the same time as this one because that one's really important too. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're a queen or king of swords now. You're you're smarter. The Emperor. Yeah, you're matching this person's energy finally. Whether you're male or female, I feel like this person always tried to like like two faced. I'm 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 being called, you know, sometimes I channel the cards and I'm being I am called to like look at like a certain um, like the pictures instead of the actual definitions, you know, that's kind of how, you know, sometimes that's how channeling works. It's like, I just, it's spirit communication. Sometimes the spirits communicate in strange ways, but I'm seeing this as not like a two of cups. I'm actually seeing this as a picture. This is like a two faced person. This is like, there's two different, there's two very different sides to this person. Looks like she's got blood on her dress too. She's like wearing a wedding dress. Like, Oh, like, could be like someone's wife or someone that pretended like they wanted to marry you, but there was some kind of motive involved there. And there, there's, see what I mean? Like you didn't see this stain before. What is, what's that stain from? What is that? You know what I mean? Question that this time around. This person has two sides to them. And now you're looking at it. You're the emperor energy. You're looking at it. You're like, you're seeing this person as toxic as they truly are. You're matching this person's energy. I feel like this person might've been a queen of swords or an emperor. And now you're, you're, you know, it's like two can play that game and you're protecting yourself. You've got your shield, male or female, you know, whether you're a female with a sword or you're a male with your shield, you know, this, this is like a balance. Finally, you're protecting yourself. You're guarding yourself. Yeah. You're thinking about the future. You're building the future. You're not letting this, this psycho get in your way anymore. You're using your intuition. Yeah, this person wants to come back with devil energy and try to get you to doubt your intu intuition. They want to, their goal right now is to block your intuition. I'm sorry. <laughs> their goal right now is to block your intuition. They want you to not trust your intuition. 
They want to confuse you. They want you to doubt yourself. They want to gaslight you. They want to apologize to you and give you this fake apology so they can drag you back in. Because they feel like they're not done using you yet, basically. But again, keep you're smarter than that now. You're moving past you've moved past it. So just keep moving forward. Um be smart when this double energy comes in. Realize that the purpose of they're, they're they're just coming in to try to block your intuition. They're just coming in to try to make you doubt yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you might get like a, a fiery, passionate message from this person, but you need to be smart. This person's not nostalgic. They might pretend like they're nostalgic, like they miss you, they love you. No, they're not nostalgic. They don't give a fuck about you. Um, honest, I'm sorry, I hate to say it like that, but gotta tell it like it is, you know? Like, you need to use your intuition. You need to be the high priest or the high priestess here and keep moving forward with your life. Keep looking forward. This person, the, the apology is fake. They, it's it's fake. You need to let this, like, you've let it go, but just keep letting it go. You know what I mean? Stand your ground. Keep protecting yourself. If this is, yeah, because you're going to have your ten of cups with somebody else. Or you already have the ten of cups with, yeah, you have a new start with somebody else. With the king or queen of wands. Um... Ten of Cups is like home, family, abundance, fulfillment. It's like everything. And the Fool is a new start. So if you if you keep staying strong and shut this toxic person out and don't accept their apology, just keep blocking them out, you're going to have a new start with somebody else. You're going to have true love and just everything you could ever want. But you have to keep being strong. It's just, You're almost there. You just have to keep going with it. You know what I mean? You have to keep keep this person's number blocked. They might, they might give you some sob story about how, you know, like, you changed them. You made them a better person. They don't want to cheat on anybody else again. Like, they, um, you know, they see the error of their weight. Like, they're, they're, they're going to try to play on your emotions, and you need to be smarter than that, and you need to keep cutting them out. They're, they're not, they're just trying to hustle you. And you know that. You know, you knew they were just using you for money or sex or whatever. Like, you need to be smarter than that. So, you know, keep moving forward. Keep being strong. You did the right thing cutting this person out. Continue to cut them out. There is also, for those of you that have kids and you're in this energy group, this person's going to try to use the kids against you on Halloween. And I'm going to get into that. So don't let them do that either. And I'm going to get into that in another video um, that I'll probably do like tomorrow or the next day. I'll probably be up. But, but um, yeah, don't let them use the kids against you on Halloween. Let me just say that. It's, it's a trap. So be smarter than that. But, um, but yeah, you have a new start with everything you could ever dream of just as long as you stay strong and you keep defending yourself, your home, your energy, defend yourself psychically, defend yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, um, protect your passwords, like I said, you know, keep moving forward here. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this out for you guys. And like I said, if this is for you, check that other video I did about um, going through some kind of rebirth, awakening, um, there's more messages there that your angels want you to know. And when, as always, if you want, like I said, if you want a private reading, email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Again, that is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is below in the description box right below this video. And uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Maybe someone that you know needs to hear this. So I appreciate you guys sharing these videos out. Um, thank you for watching.